working with Byron Messiah right now. Um, mm. Start to work with Byron Messiah about a month and a half from uh, ago. Big up management, big up Kev. In in term in in mm. in what capacity are you working with Byron Messiah? Yeah, I mean I'm working close with the management team. Part of the management team in terms of you know making sure we say everything you know good because everything is a team. So I'm a big up Kev. What about the split from Z Tech? Because in bus, in bus and the Z Tech, mm -hmm. that that a prince one of them, and the media have it to say, it is alleged that there has been a split in the camp. Um, the last time I spoke to Byron, you know, Byron talking about money, you know, and every time I talk to Byron, Byron talking about how he can make millions of dollars, you know. So, as far as I know, Byron kills the whole camp. They're focusing on making money. Yeah, but money was so, being so, 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 so money so, wasn't so, being made when so, so, print, when Z Tech was a part no, of the no, team. No, I'm I'm telling you what I'm aware of. Every time I speak to Byron, it's about making money and making millions. Mm. Every time I speak to Byron, it's about oh, uh, where he's going to buy his next property, where he's going to buy his next land, where he's going to buy his next vehicle. What can he do to make more money? What can he do to develop brand and kids? Those are the conversations I have with Byron Messiah. And I don't care about what in personal life details and what happens. You know, he's a product and I'm going to protect the product and I'm going to work assiduously every day to make sure the product grow. Mm. I, I personally not get involved into that. At Advanced Caribbean, it's fast and very simple. Easy financing for all your needs and fair rates guaranteed. You can even earn cash when you refer a friend. Life is definitely worth living. Let's make life happen. Call us at 466-6677 or 469-6678 or visit our offices today at Church Street Sinkets or Henville Building in Charlestown, Nevis. I tolerate men. We live in a risky world, you know? Yeah. That's <laughs> so what I can say. And, uh, you know, we explore. Men should always spend on a woman. Appreciation is a big man. Welcome back, or welcome to another episode of the Perspectives Podcast. Today we're there with an unfamiliar face, unfamiliar to St. Kitts Nevis, the general public in St. Kitts Nevis, but familiar to me, isn't it? Somebody who has been integral towards Perspective Media for quite a while now, isn't it? Somebody where we are meeting in person for the first time, is it? We're there with a booking agent, artist, manager, somebody who is behind the scenes of a lot of people's success, isn't it? We're there to find out who is this guy. A man who goes by the name, the Monica Protocol Boss. Where are you going from? Where are boss? It's a pleasure for finally meeting yeah, in the flesh, you know? Yeah, it's a pleasure, it's a pleasure, man. It's a pleasure, man. So where are you going? Who are you? Cheers, cheers. I don't know. Blessings. Blessings from mm -hmm. Who are you? What are you about? Well, born Randy Mondial. Um, here from St. Cash in Jamaica. Mm. You know, I'm a... I'm an artist manager, tour manager, road manager, booking agency, and I also own, you know, I do business in Canada. Mm. Right in Canada. You reside in Canada, but you come from Yard, yeah, St. Kitchen to be exact. Yeah. So talk to me about your upbringing, like, what was, what was life like for you in your early stages growing up in St. Kitchen? Um, life, life was rough, you know. Life was rough, but at the same time, you know, to this day, my mom and dad is still together. So I, I was brought up in a home where, you know, that is the provider and so forth and so forth. So despite we grew, you know, middle class type of vibe, you know, mm. you know, that sure that we're good. So growing up, it was good, you know, went to a school called Linstead Primary and July in Linstead. Mm. And then, um, we went to youth and I. After which we went to youth and I school, we got a football scholarship because I was a football player, you know? Mm. To 
to didn't take technical life school, you know? So you, you play a league up and everything? Yeah, man. Captain didn't take technical life school. You play for you tonight. But, 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 but I don't know what I said. They don't know what I said. Oh, you didn't tell? I didn't tell on the side, man. I don't know if I win League Cup. Bro, we won League Cup in 1998. See, I didn't hear him, my boy. Probably had the first and the last. I didn't hear him, my boy. Probably the first and the last uh, time. What we thought about didn't tell? Yeah, we just know we had that perspective. You know who we had that? Mm-hmm. You, know, you, know, you know who's called, my boy? A CC, uh, man, uh, this, you know. You see, a CC, you know. Clarendon you know, College, man, that boy. You know. and, and respect to Clarendon College. Because we had a Clarendon College fan base and all the Clarendon College friends. But Dinty has been one of the most consistent teams, you know, for the longest while. Once upon a time, that man. Consist- you're consistent and losing. the most consistent Dark of the Cup team in school boy football for the past decades is Dinty. Dinty, Clarendon College is the two most consistent teams. And steps. Mm. So we know the history. Well, maybe we don't know where I go on still. But mm-hmm. you, you say you're, you're captain that team there. Yeah. I want to win. In a year time, I want to win. No, I've never, we have never won the Dark of the Cup. Um, you see it, you're not a baller, man. Yeah, you know, but we have a baller. We have a final. Yeah, clean to be a baller. But we have always went to second round. But, <laughs> yeah, he's an Arsenal fan, no? Yeah, no, Chelsea, Chelsea, you know. Ah, you know, see it, man. Land, land. I wonder we can't agree on football already. The interview just started and we can't <laughs> agree on <laughs> football. Like, <laughs> as, a, as a Man U fan, a long yeah, time we don't win yeah, nothing. Yeah, still. Man U fan. But, um, yeah, so, mm. as I said, Going to details, and um, you know, I would, you know, as a student athlete, I was like a legend that didn't tell. because not, you know, you know, the stigma in Jamaica as a, as an athlete, you're not doing well in academics and so forth. And I was actually one of the eight students that didn't tell, mm. you know, and highly respected and so forth. And so, I, you, you did one of them nerd ball of the are actually no, yeah the balance no 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 nerd no nerd what's just one of you the family garrison who know who know exactly what they want from the, from the get-go mm. i know that listen seeing my dad running taxi and so forth and my you know my mom as a you know wonderful mom doing the old soul work i know that education is the only way that going to bring me to elevate, you, elevate yeah. me and, and, and elevate my family you know mm. I mean? So I knew what I want from a tender age, you get me? So you never, you never did aspire to be actually a professional footballer? It was always like academics first, or you, you didn't prioritize the football? Um, you, know, you know what? It's not only that I was even playing football alone. I was doing track and field. I, went, I, 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 I participated in Boys and Girls Championship, running the 2000 steeplechase and the 800 meter. The man said 2000. Yeah, man, 2000. Had donkey thing them the brother for each for each of champs. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That means uh, it fit like a fiddle. Yeah, man. Mm. I stole a them call me them time there. Mm. You know, like you go to school, I stole a them call me. Yeah. You know. Um. So even I, I mean, I just came from Jamaica, and when I went to I, I went to Dinty because I can't go to Jamaica and I don't go to Dinty. Mm. So I went to Dintel and you know it was it, it like like the teachers like they were like you know this was a student yeah you know what I mean so it was a proper student the, the, the vibe was nice they welcomed me like a legend you know what I mean it's mm. like a, it's like a Usain Bolt they welcomed me at Dintel like a Usain Bolt in a Chilani right you know what I mean so it, and then thing that you know it's a pleasure to me you know what I mean mm. Dintel brought me made me a man in other words. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I when I transitioned from Dintel, I went to college where I did environmental science. Which college? I went to Knox College. Mm-hmm. Community College. Yeah, with Knox College in um mm-hmm. in Mandeville. Mm-hmm. So you get an associate's degree from this one? Yeah, no, yeah, I got an associate degree. And um I did I, I also did the the, the 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 bachelor degree. Where do the bachelors? The same place at Knox. Yeah, Knox go up to bachelors? No. Yeah. I know that, man. Mm-hmm. Can, me think Knox would be like a six farm. Cause more, more, most of the time, more people would talk about like the community colleges. Them would, it would, community colleges would offer like up to an associate level. I never know the community college offer up to degree. Yeah. So you get a degree in our in a environmental science. environmental science. So where did life take you from there? Um life took me from there to same kids, you know. Mm. Which, which year that? Yeah, I remember I remember I was on a flight to Miami. 
you know. So you get your, you get your, hold on, I feel like you skip out some things or something. Mm-hmm. You get your green card. No, you, that, no, you get your visa. visa. You know. And I fly to uh, Miami. So how oh, you end up a send kit? Yeah, so while, while, I'm, while I'm on the flight to Miami, mm-hmm. I met a gentleman who was in the police force in, um, <laughs> in St. Kitts. Mm-hmm. And you know, you have a flight, sometimes, you know, depends on who beside you, yeah, chit chat a little bit. And, mm-hmm. You know, I met the gentleman, and the gentleman was telling me that he was from St. Kitts. Big up, Anthony, you know. Mm-hmm. Anthony Dawson gave me a big strength and allowed me to be a man in St. Kitts, same way. But back to the point. I met a gentleman on the la- on, on the plane. I was telling you know, I'm from St. Kitts and Ray and Tay and you know, I was like, oh whoa, you know, you know, I'm kinda of just in this college and you know. What year was that? That's twenty fifteen. Oh, recent time that man. Yeah man, you know what I am. Just with you, man. Mm-hmm. 2015, around, somewhere around the year. I'm going to say our grandfather. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Oh, I was the main guy, you know? And too, too much good we do. You know, that's your grandfather. No, my mother said check the heat, you know. I know me I check the heat, my father. Yeah, yeah, yeah man, yeah. me have to check the heat, man. Yeah. We can't go easy yeah, pan, you know. Yeah, for real. Yeah, man. Not even a girl, we don't go easy pan, you know. But that's a different story for a different day. But, yeah, yeah man, continue, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. um, let the general on the phone out, you know, and say, yo, Music was always the thing, you know, because growing up in our community, them call me protocol from them time because otherwise I'm still them, I call me protocol because I always I try to do the right thing, you know? Mm. You know, which is, you know, beyond the norm of regular. Regular age, age group, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Them call me protocol boss. You know, when I when we really call me protocol, give me the name, was, was Channel Pop and Spider. So big them up, you see me? So while I was on the plane, now, you know, the guy was telling me, you know, why, you know, think it's a nice place and rate it. And I'm like, what are some of the job opportunities? Mm. And then I said to him, I said, yo, you know, why, well, yeah, you can probably become a police or whatever, whatever. And I said, yeah. Mm. But for me, I always want to do something to make my parents proud. Mm. You know what I mean? Th- that was the whole thing. And even though policing really and truly wasn't a hundred percent passion. You know what I mean? It was always ah, music and yeah. You know. But you don't know police are in farmer thing. Um no, no. Not in farmer thing, you know, because they need everybody. You need police, you need fire, you need you need doctor. You, you know, you Yeah, but everybody. traditionally, traditionally we are pre police as the, as a yard man too. Yeah, we are pre police as a informer thing. Police, police is not informer. The biggest informer the criminal themselves. I was a police for years. And the biggest informer the criminal themselves. So quote unquote, the year people are talk, you have to just you have to just know. I may I tell you. I, I perspective, but may I tell you this. The biggest informer the criminal them. Mm. No, but the man tell you not my G. So we need police. No matter what you want, so we need police. And big up the police them in the same kids. Mm. You know what I mean? Because a lot of times they're not valid enough. And when I will skip from this woman. So we'll go up, go black a little bit. And Tell you, oh, I became a police. Yeah, I'm not really. Hmm? That statement they said they're not valid enough. Big up the police, them still, but. No, bro. Right now, if somebody kill me, if somebody was to kill me, hypothetically speaking, mm-hmm. if. Yeah, I'm not even really want to say that. I mean, take back that, because you don't know the manifestation, is it? No. If somebody was to murder somebody close to me, mm-hmm. It's, it's more likely for that case to not be solved in St. Kitts than somewhere else in the world. So... No, 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 no. I mean, I'll stop you right there. And if, 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 if the podcast and perspective, media, you know? And that's just the perspective of the public. Because they don't know what's going behind the scene. No, but the, the numbers would say that, like... No, bro. I mean, I'll tell you, like, the, no, no organization at all in the world is perfect. And if you know what police have to do on a day to day basis, even same case, you'll appreciate them more. I mean, I mean all right, all right, personally, what, right? What, what I will say the police need to do more in same case is like public relations. All right, what's your you, message? You know, you see, the people see exactly what they're doing because they're doing a lot, bro. What's your message? Limit the amount of pay. No, but, 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 but what's your message, you know? <clears throat> I have nothing against police, you know. Like, I respect police, you know. When no police can tell you, say, 
essential driver disrespect them. All when them stop me and give me ticket for tint, them give me all parking ticket. Yeah. I never disrespect no police. But just looking upon the, the, the crime situation, we even are here up now, again, in a St. Kitts. Mm -hmm. And you see how small St. Kitts Nevis is, bro. I just feel like more, more, more conviction is supposed to have gone. Like, more supposed to be happening, bro. Like, everybody know the stories, you know. But forget a case to come to the point where this is solved and somebody they are jailed for that. It, it's lacking here, in my in my opinion. They're working, bro. And I was I was, I was, I was, I was, I was once in their show, right? Mm. And um, is it a crime situation? Mm. And before me to touch nothing up, all of you, I mean, I think it's a leave is still on the gun, my G. Look at that, my dear. Mm -hmm. All of you, I mean, I think it's a Navy's high protocol boss, I tell you. You know what I mean? I've been there and done that in terms of I travel the world and I see that there's more life to live. My G, killing each other don't make sense. You know what I mean? And we can do better as a nation. Bro, I love think it's in the bro. And when I tell them I love think it's, I love think it's because think it's one of the country that gave me, this, gave me the start. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying, and I'm appealing to the government because I know that the government has the capabilities to do better. You know what I mean? Work hand in hand with the police, work hand in hand with various different agencies, take advice. You know what I mean? And I'm, and I'm willing to help in whichever way I can. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because think kids can do better and will do better. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And the, 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 all, all this we have one now can't stop, bro. Yeah, it can you know, stop. It, it will stop, you know. But it, it has stopped before, you know. Yeah, it, has, it, has, it, it has before. Irregardless. Uh, it will, bro. It uh, will. Irregardless of, of what made it stop and how it stopped, mm -hmm. we see it say so it stopped before and... This... Alright, if you if if really check the facts how I go on, it's not like before. No, from, from what the streets are say, mm -hmm. it's infighting between friends. So, every little spurt, you see, it's con concentrated within camps. So that, that kind of difficult to, to deal with or to, to blame on the authorities or the government from my perspective. So it's like, a, it's, it's more of like a, a, a community, mm -hmm. a community effort or a community. It's from a, a small community standpoint. Yeah. You see me? I just had to look at conflict them there and things here up. And what if them thing here too I stem from things we happened in the past. Like, bro, irregardless of, of, of peace or whatever, mm -hmm. you, have, you have things named trauma and people don't forget things so easy. You see me? So yeah. while me, me can look past something, you wanna not look past that thing. Mm -hmm. You see me? So, like, just, it's it, it going to take a community effort to really change things. But after that, continuing on your journey. Yeah, tough topic, bro. But mm. when it comes to saying kids, I'm you know, passionate in the world. Mm. Like, I'm passionate about saying kids. You know what I mean? And I want everybody to know that. Like, I'm passionate about saying kids, bro. You see me? I talk about the crime and, like, you know, chills. Mm -hmm. So, me, I said to the man, them say, bro, like, we can do better. Let's find better ways to resolve our conflicts, you know, like, like you know, conflict resolution and so forth. And I'm saying, I'm willing to give up my, my service anytime, any day, in terms of getting some of these influencers who the youth them look up to and mm. do some work too. And I'm a pl I, 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 like, who's the camera supposed to look at? Honorable Dr. Joe, you know me, I know you. Mm. And, I, and, I, and I love and respect you. Love and respect your administration. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Crime is everybody's business. Mm -hmm. And this is not a political talk, you know what I mean? No, I'm gonna do the politics thing. You know what I mean? Crime is everybody's business. And yeah, I'm, man. I'm willing to give up my service. Okay, I'm my business, you know. I'm willing to, to take some influencers, like the, the top artists them, and mm -hmm. you know, different agents incentives to do some peace walk through with you, them as you, the most of their life to live. You know what I mean? I'm willing to do that anytime. So mm -hmm. the result of perspective means that let it happen. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? This must stop. 
Yeah, yeah man. It me? can't. It's like a thing. Bro, it's like, it is nice, bro. Dogs and kids are not a violent bro, place. Bro, it is de- nice, bro. bro de- before. Bro, no? Medea, Medea, for much years. And mm. God know. It's like, I can't, I can't lift, I can't unlock any time. Yeah. I can't move, I drop asleep, I remember. <laughs> like, I come out the door. I live in Nevis. Yeah. I'm well. I come out the door and my key left outside of the door. Yeah. Isn't I never miss missing nothing. Mm-hmm. Like it's few and far in between for any little thing happen. Mm-hmm. Like it's a small community where everybody show me love, bro, as a far foreigner. Yeah. You see, like I've never been violated. Rather than how different kind of thing. Yeah, that bro. Yeah, but anyways, it's a whole place, man. Oh, but me, as me as say still, mm-hmm. like Saint Kitts, it is Saint Kitts is no violent place, mm-hmm. bro. No. Isn't it? It's like just yeah, anytime, anytime you see things, alright, it look it look worse than it than it always yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. alright, you have a, a violence a going in our community. Yeah. And. Yeah, 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 yeah. M- m- link come on and say, oh, I go on, bro. And I'm gonna go tell, man will tell me, say, oh, that's all over there, you know. Mind you, the man living in the same community, you know. Yeah. That's all over there, you know. That now nothing to do with me, you know. Mm-hmm. I see it, you know. In the yeah, so it's like, it's not like, mm-hmm. think it's a violent place. It's just the little eruption, them, but it look bad upon the biggest, upon the bigger picture because it's like a small community. Yeah. And it not, yeah, nothing, yeah, vibe, you know? yeah, and it not take nothing to reach up at the top of the list. We are, the cra- we are all gonna yeah. fix it, bro, because crime is everybody's business, you know? No, no mind, no. And, 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 and I want to implore all the citizens of Sengis and Nick. No mind, no mind. When no. it comes to crime, let's not play a blame game. Let's see how we can all fix it. You know what I mean? You have different authorities. If you see something, Reach out, you know what I mean? Because when you reach out your doorstep, it can be hard, bro. No, man, I'm not saying nothing, man. You see me? I'm not your perspective, but anyway. Me not, me not anyway, that. anyway, bro, that's your perspective. I'm going to dig up all the police, them, dig up all the soldiers, them. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, the police, them, yeah, police, them show me love, man. You know? Like, everywhere. Yeah. Trust me, bro. Big, police, big, man, the police, them yeah. good still. Yeah, bro. Is it? Yeah, it's, man, it's like, it's, police, it's always respect bro, and love. Bro, police work hard, bro. I used to be in it, bro. Police were hard, bro. And with the salary, I think, I mean, you know, then I get into it. But the police deserve better pay, bro. They work very hard, bro. Sometimes a police work, sometimes it's, I used to work in operation. Mm. So when you work 12 hour shift, bro, sometimes, you know, you, you go home and you get four hours sleep and you come back on the extra time, you know. Mm. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm saying to you. You know, they work hard, but all in all, we all try to fix it, bro. You see me? We all try to fix it as a team because it takes every, everybody to, to fix it. That's mm. one man thing. It's not prime minister alone can be. No, you know but I mean? the, like, you, you see, be. Mr. Pick. Different Pete. agency. Me, the thing, the thing. Yeah. You know, everybody have to come together and say, oh, enough is enough. And, and the reality is that, and I'll show you a thing, bro, because when it comes to crime, it's serious. You see me? I mean, I'll show you a thing, bro. It's needed, bro. You can't neglect the youth, then. Mm. You can't neglect the youth. Then. You know, one of the. You have to face on, you know, cut them a G. But you have, to, you have to face the problem, you know, heads on. Mm. You know, the, the youths, them, need guidance, bro. You see me? And most of the youth, them, we have the crime, they think it's an even some brilliant youth, them. Because I had the, I had the privilege to deal with them, youth, them. Well, sometimes I do a foot patrol, you know, that. One of the time when I was a police, mm. first I had an exclusive. I saved a youth life. One time I was on an operation, and you know the youth, you know, have some things on him. And I said, "Yo, Jan, I said, what's the reason for this?" And I said, "Boy, you know we are Jamaica." I said, "Boy, you are the, you know, say really and truly, we used to go to school tomorrow morning, and I the only way." This can work and this is not something we can what we really want to do, you know. Mm. But if you can give me a helping hand to get me a work on a Rams or anywhere else, you know, I can promise I'm gonna stop this, you know. I mm. can't lock up the youth there. So sometimes I discretion in the game, you know what I mean? I mm. can't lock up the youth there. And anywhere the youth they see me. I thumbs up and, and, and blessings, they see me. So that's what I'm asking you know, my G. There's just a there's always a way. And bro. you know, you know what thing is like police 
poly people tend to dehumanize police but on a more serious level now like more while you find that people people forget say police are human beings mm. too you see me so it's like them on a robot bro and mm. just like how you you use your discussion enough man use them discussion with a lot of things yeah. you see me so it's not just like you paint everybody with the same the, the, the same brush yeah. and the, speaking about the crime thing earlier you, you tell me say one of the things that women feel like is a major contributing factor to crime yeah. is broken homes you see because <clears throat> mm-hmm. if you really check the facts you know most of them youth yeah, I just today it come to my mind mm-hmm. most of them youth yeah, is to commit crime is it a come it it a stem from a broken home because mm-hmm. them lack most of them grow up in a single parent home with mommy mm-hmm. isn't it so them lack a sense of authority what a father would have bring is it and I'm a son kind of open my eye to certain things now because I realize how we move like when him there on him mother mm-hmm. him him act out is more unruly him 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 do him own thing with him mother but when him come around me now is like this a daddy mm-hmm. so him 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 not you 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 not go easy catch him yeah. I do certain things like when me na me na beat mm-hmm. me just have to talk and me na talk about reads why sir not mm-hmm. and him listen so it's like that me search itself and if you really think about it from most of them youth you see get away and become quote and quote bad it's like them never have the father figure there and you feel you agree you agree with that from like i bro like growing up in a in a in a, a, a two parent also and i think that contribute to you you as a person overall or even just having a father figure around yeah um bro is important then mm. i'm sure the two side car I have to speak truth, you see me? Mm. I, I, will, I will be raised in a, in a home where I see my mother and my father to this day. Mm. You know what I mean? And I have a son from St. Kitts. Mm. I want to big up my son mother. I want to call him name, big up, I love you. And I want to use the opportunity. And I said to you, because I can take you apart from my eyes because I have a son and Really, and told me, G. I told him, I just see my son. For the first time? First time. How? You see me? But how? Because my son, my son born at the time when we get the opportunity to go to Canada. Mm. I was a police and we resigned. That I got an opportunity. Because how long How long you were living here before you get the opportunity today? Four years. Mm, so from 20, so 2019, like... Yeah, way in the I never got the opportunity to see my son born, you know what I mean? Mm. And just wanted the opportunity to apologize to my son for the podcast, you know what I mean? Mm. But that I had to do what he had to do at the time, bro. Mm. Because being a police at the time, with a gun in your way 24 hours and, you know, when you get the pay, it, 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 you know, the expend the expenditure is greater than the income. Mm. You know what I mean? I, and I got an opportunity to go to Canada, you see me? So I had to take the opportunity at the time, bro. Mm. But the reality hit that reality hit me away where it took it, it took a couple years away from me growing my son. Mm. We have to start from somewhere in the MG. Mm. The first time you come black. After that, no, the stuff them in the Canada, I see my son youth and the son, the first thing my son said, Dad, you know, people at schools and it's asking that, like, where is your dad? You know? Them thing they pee in me, you but to me, I have to tell my son, say, Oh, son, I'm sorry. Because mm. you're never too big for you know what I mean? Say, son, I'm sorry. And I want to apologize to my, my, my child mom. Mm. She, 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 she held her own, she took care of her kid. And moving forward, I'll be a better dad. Mm. But I had to do what I had to do, bro. You get me? Because me have to, me have to create the legacy there. That him can come see say, boy, me see why my father been missing out of my life for four years. Mm. You know what I mean? Me can see the result. You know what I mean? But people don't really see it in a perspective. But you see, it's a reality. I, I had to take the opportunity. 
mm. at the time, you know what I mean? So I let same kids and I went to Canada and the journey just get rough, bro. So you, you, when, you, when you left St. Kitts, you feel like things would have been better? I thought that things would have been better. Because mm. I, I, I left St. Kitts, you know, I had a conversation with my child, you know. Mm. I, you know, responsible because I, I was brought up in a home where I see my mother and my father. Mm. I had a conversation. And in respect to my child, mom, she never held me back. Mm. She said, do what you have to do and take responsibility. Remember mm-hmm. your responsibility. But times just get rough. Mm. You know what I mean? I want to big up everybody who, 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 who understand, everybody who, who, who te- reach out and tell me the truth. You know what I mean? Because some days need some self-check in the gym. Mm-hmm. And when you come for the program, to act like we're perfect, you know what I mean? No, man. Uh, yeah. Could I never, like, all right, watch out. You know, I think, I think about, about me and doing an interview with me. Yeah. Most of the people who wouldn't do an interview with me is things like these, them afraid of, them mm-hmm. afraid of, like, yeah. because, like, you see, most people are living a lie, you know. Is it? Mm-hmm. So me, you know, who come on the show can tell you, say, this and this happen. Yeah. To an extent with my life. Mm-hmm. Is it? But, and some people like you would not come, come express certain things. Mm-hmm. But some people like them fear, them, them afraid of what the public going to say. Mm-hmm. Or what people going to think about saying what them, about what, what was said. But that can't change the reality, bro. Can't change the reality, my brother. That's why I'm afraid. And, and as I said, I apologize to my, to, to my child, mother, father, and our families. Them. So during the time when I did there Canada, like, while you were living in Canada, you couldn't provide for him financially? Um, I, I did what I could at the time. Mm. But at, at some point in time, it was, it, it was rough. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, you know, as a man, sometimes the pride within you, you know, you, you, you know, sometimes the pride within you, as a man, sometimes we're afraid to speak up. So what I've learned from the situation, speak up. Yeah, you because, know, uh, you know what I see? No, 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 I'm going to show you a thing now. Mm-hmm. I have my son. My son never uh my son I make four yeah. in about two months. Yeah. Zane. Mm-hmm. And from him born to this day, I have been there for him financially. Yeah. And at a point I meet some rough times mm-hmm. and I couldn't be there like how I wanted to okay. financially. And that's you see that same issue that where like your pride take over and you feel like you're not being, you're not being good enough. So you, you, you disappear as a man. Like, you, dis- li- you literally disappear. Me, because bro. in yourself, you feel like you're so worthless, bro. Bro, bro. I want to buy me there, Canada, bro. When immigration, I run me down in a G. Mm. In, a, in a snow, you know. Mm. You see me? I'm going to big up Kim. You see me? Mm. Big up Kim, bro. Gratitude. I have to give me gratitude, bro. Mm. I see me attack, bro, like I cry more and cry because here I'm, bro. I disappear because me feel like I let down my youth, you. Yeah, like that's how the. I let down my youth. It's like. like truth, bro. And, you know, know. I lie to you and tell us a word that you see. I be free up. Mm. You saw me forward? Yeah. I, is a thing in a you? Is a thing in a you as a man? I'm grown, bro. Like, bro, I'm like, sure you're a thing. I live, me live two minutes away from my son. Mm-hmm. And during them time that I. You can count metal like two minutes, you know, may have care, you know. Mm-hmm. And you can count okay. by your hand how much time they would see me. Yeah, it's, it's like right thing, you know, my bro, it's, it's not in a right thing, you know. But but in a yourself as a man. The right thing, you know, but you see, bro. We don't feel like me let down me you, me G. You see me? But think I did me want to blow. Like 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 you bro, and, and because of that, bro, you know what time? Take up my phone, bro. I'm saying me a call. I'm, I, I, and every time I take up the phone, bro, I can't call because... You know how much time? It, 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 it's, just, it, it's, just, it, it's just a genuine star, you know? So, so no, when I saw my son today, bro, and the first my son said, Dad, I love you. Yeah. And one thing, despite of the many challenges, my child mom never prevented me from being a father for my son. Mm-hmm. I never respect her for that. And, and I, I can say, and I, and, and I promise you on this podcast that I will be a better dad starting today. At Advanced Caribbean, it's fast and very simple. Easy financing for all your needs and fear rates guaranteed. 
You can even earn cash when you refer a friend. Life is definitely worth living. Let's make life happen. Call us at 466-6677 or 469-6678 or visit our offices today at Church Street Sinkets or Henville Building in Charlestown, Nevis. No, but watch, watch thing now. You see me? People here, people listening, people watch the show all the time. Mm -hmm. And no matter how messed up things get, them can never, ever ever show you a clip or rewind from the 50 or the 60 episodes mm -hmm. and hear me say a bad word about my baby mother yeah. because that girl has never prevented me like mm -hmm. during everything it's like frustration take over more while you see like a woman overreact yeah. Emotionally. Like women are more emotional. So now I kinda grow to come understand them thing there and realize what I go on. But she never prevent me from being a father to him. You see? Mm -hmm. Like I feel like she give me more make me feel like she give me too much grace. Yeah, bro, she give me like in terms of yeah, like you get yeah, too much grace, chances, bro. you like Yo, she give me a lot of grace, bro. And yeah. if you want to let it go. Alright, so because that ain't like bro. And 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 I'm gonna say a man have to just experience it, understand, bro. Mm. And and that's why I'm mean, gonna tell a man, say, yo, you see when you move to a different country, plan is planning is important. Mm. You see me? I just was just I would say over ambitious. Mm. And just wanted an opportunity. And there weren't many many planning in place. You see me, and, and when I forward one and get when I go to Toronto now and see a different culture, you know, it, it, it you know, it, it kind of just hit me for six, you know. Mm -hmm. So I just catch up myself now and you know, give thanks for God and give thanks for music. And that's why I have to say, big up popcorn. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because the whole thing starts now. When you reach this head. All right. Isn't it? But mm -hmm. in terms of like, mm -hmm. you, go, you go Canada. Yeah. What kind of opportunity you get? You get a visa or you get an opportunity for migrate? Get an opportunity for visa and permit, you know. Mm. You see me? So when I reach now, get the visa. Mm. When I reach in Canada, I suppose to get a permit. Mm. And, you know, meet up on challenges. Mm. You know, and decide, say, you know what, bro? Don't resign from the police force, you know. And I go back, you know. And I go black, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'll make it work. So we would make, you know, you know, we're intelligent. So, we, you know, we say, oh, we will create, you know, an opportunity out of this. So that's when we just start the thing and, you know, the journey just become difficult. You know, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. And, you know, mm -hmm. and then we would ban, no, bro. So, so you, you we were ban two weeks after me reach Canada, you know, so or a week after. You go, you go Canada on the visa mm -hmm. and you don't get through with the permit. No. So what were you doing? in Canada for, for like work or for support yourself? So we work at factory. Mm. You see me? All the experience that was like yeah, we work from, a from a police yeah. to a factory worker. Watch out. The first day I work at a factory, I mash up my hand. Pussy clown. I'm going to tell you, G. So, so the first day I went to a factory, bro. You see me? Because before, I ended up you know, buying a 600 like car in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. I think so. It's like a yeah, car, and you know, decided say we can't, you know. So went and get a factory work, and one of them agents in the car. Can they have agents where you can get a local work and thing? And went and get the work, and after which I got the work, I had the six hundred car, so I drove to work, and I can't be living at the time, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A winter, you know, and it, you see, you see what I talk about, bro. Cool. So, so sometimes I'm gonna know the story, and I'm gonna feel like you neglect the youth, are you ready? And they, I just mm -hmm. create me, I try to create the platform, bro, and I create the opportunity, bro, because I know greatness within me, you know. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna show you some great stuff soon, you know. Mm -hmm. So, this is a bumps, bro, and me, me had a two to ten shift. Bo bo you see me? <laughs> two in the afternoon uh, to ten in the night. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we did it. I remember saying, you know, I'm going to my car and go on plaza to go sleep, you know. <laughs> you see me as a G? Remember, I'm a big, big police boy, I'm a boss, yeah, I'm a big gun pan, and I'm a waist, and, yeah. you know what I mean? So you never have no family in Canada to turn to? Yeah, we have family in Canada. 
Cause big up to my brother. Brother invite me, I can and Ray Ray and big up to him and we don't go into the details, but things never work out to right cause year one now. A tough transition from being a police to civilian, you know. Mm. Tough, you know. Especially me, the man where I, where I work, where I used to work SSU, you know. Mm. And you know, we, we, we transition from being a police back to civilian, and one of the toughest things in the G. So on several nights, we wake up and we have to stop. We're going there. And oh. you, you, know, you know, mentally, and you have to think about some, some doorways, kick down, and you have to think about some. So, so the transition is not easy. So you're traumatized as a so police. I'm traumatized. I'm going to go counseling and everything there. And, you know what I mean? I think mommy you come you man one week after reach a Canada, you know, bro. Mm. You know the thing the kind of yes, the kind of straight strike a nerve because women get wo, women if for a woman, them get something them get an excuse called post traumatic syndrome. Mm -hmm. Wait no, postpartum. Postpartum. Postpartum post depression. Okay. Yeah. Them get postpartum depression. Yeah. But a man no get nothing. Like when I get nothing for say, like them just chalk it up to you, you're a man, so deal with it. Deal with it. So that's how yeah. society look for yeah, a man. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? You yeah, yeah. Man, deal with it. That's right. Deal with it. I've learned to speak up. Mm. And, and you know, you know, to them see me youth and my mother and, 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 and his mom. I look at his mom and say, I, I, I understand your attitude. Mm. My mom is a, a, my child mom and thank God, bro. My child mom is an intelligent woman who, who you know, who's very educated and so forth. So I said, I understand. Mm. And I put my hands up, bro. But all I was doing was just trying for my son. Mm. It's a better man than me. Because sometimes as a man, I would just put your hands up. Yeah, bro, because you can't pour from an empty cup. You know? me, 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 I'm not even focused on the past. Oh, can I be a better man starting from today? Right. You get me, bro? So I put my hands up, bro. I'm a salute her, bro, because despite everything, she 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 she, she won the ground. You see me? I can't find an excuse, bro. I can't find an excuse, bro. I have to be a man and say yo, be a man and say yo, I'm sorry. Mm. And tell my son, say me look at my son and tell, I'm sorry. Mm. And my son said, Daddy, I love you. You get me? I say, my G, so what may I say? My father of Canada, I will be there from big obstacles, bro. But but being the person I am, we still want to make the story look good. Mm. Because I saw you going on my G, in, even if you are struggling, in, in, in the mean say struggle, I have to show up on you, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to see, why, why perspective? So not now go and see, man, look at my bro. Doesn't mean, bro, but you still have to keep, you still have to maintain that image. You still have to, you know what I mean? Them don't know what I go on. You still have to because do, bro. Doing, you, doing you, everything. Especially when we in the news, this thing. Bro, bro. you know doing, what I just suffer about you, bro? Bro, okay, doing everything. <laughs> I just relax, but I shoot me interview them, man. Yeah, Viral bro. every week. <laughs> Yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. I just want them to see them G. And, and like, enough people wouldn't know, you know. Like, people see how go about your business and feel like it's all, it's all good, you know. Yeah, and bro. then see how, like, them will see me. More while people see me. I see me drive me like a car. And them see me do me like a work. Them don't know. <laughs> them don't know how I go through. Them don't know how I survive. Mm -hmm. Is it? But, me now will come, come show you that. I do need to show them that. You see? Yeah. So, so, so you, were li you were living in your car in Canada. Yeah, bro. But oh, yeah, oh, you actually reached that point there, bro. Like, just the, like, your trauma from transitioning to a civilian affected your relationship with your brother? Yeah, bro. And, 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 and as you said, it's a podcast, yeah. I take responsibility. Mm. Wherever I went wrong, I want to say apology to my brother, too. Mm -hmm. uh, when my father was at the police force and, you know, a criminal I deal with every day. You know, that means that I was being aggressive with criminals every day. But mm -hmm. when we reached Canada, I see my brother talk to me. And, and a boy up. A boy me up and, you know, I mean, in my mind at the time. Yeah. But I went, reality hit me, I said, you know, everything you know, my brother, that's say, true. Mm -hmm. You see me? I reality him not tell me to say, yo, don't drive on the 401, drive on the 407, you know. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't take the right turn. Like, you know what I mean? Everything is a trigger, me, bro. But you don't really understand. You see me? So that's why you know, the bombs and them say, you know, you can't stay in my crib. You know, because two, two lines can't in one pen. So I mean, I'm going to go You see me? That's why I'm saying so. And then we see the bombs and no one left the, 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 the work about 10.55. We clock out. 
it's no star about a door. Because I remember saying, I want shoppers. Ma, me go, me go go in and you know, go out, eat like yeah, park, you know, mm-hmm. until until work tomorrow, tomorrow again, you know. But the be snow, and when snow you have to take, when snow fall, you can't sleep. No vehicle right through. You have to take a three hour and then break, take a three hour. And my my mother father don't know about them. I think you know you. Cause my mother father pressure high me. I have to hold it out like a G same way. So them live in Jamaica. They they, they live in Jamaica. So mm. this is a bumps you no know, bro. And when me a fall from work. La boat and me a fall from work. The tire puncher. Come on, I told you about. Roll a race shot there when I told you about. Who do you kind of know me at all? The bro, I mean, I want to bounce you now and fall out. Remember, I said, we just buy a car, so I mean, I don't know the equipment that I mean, carry, the jack and things. So, mm-hmm. I know mean, if you change the tire and things. Mm-hmm. When you cool the tire, you know, your finger then freeze up in the brain and stop. I mean, I know them the kind of cool they bad man. Yeah. So, yeah. This is everyone, I mean, jack the tire and then, you know, jack, bro. Boom, and the vehicle, you know, the finger of my G. Mm-hmm. And blow it as free. I'm like, just, 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 God. Take off my shirt and my whole police, you know, my, my thing tough, see, I'm mm-hmm. me, me tight, my hand, and I'm a fan, don't go to Canada, bro. You could have fun for a note, and a man, I'm not going to tap I saw Canada, bro, you know, my G. It's a big place to run. You know, I'm not going to tap, you know, you know who tap for me? I am intoxicated man. Mm-hmm. And, and that, that, that intoxicated man, we are coming from the casino, stop for me, you know, bro. We stop, you know, and the phone was dead, you know. So I'm not a body for car to say, come, come, me, I call the ambulance, you know. And at the time, I don't even know the location like that. Because them time, they're all long a day in Canada. Months. Judge, you take book <laughs> book. <laughs> <laughs> a couple months to take care of brother for you. <laughs> A couple of weeks. <laughs> so a couple months, a couple of weeks. But again, I'm saying, when I said, when I leave a pretty G car, me had fall to bro. You know what I mean? This is a pretty G. I had fall to me G. You know what I mean? I just, bro, I'm suffering still. You know? If you know what the program you have to do, you know what I mean? <laughs> you have it, 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 you you have it, 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 you have you you see me? I don't think I lost a month. I mean, I live with the police force. I mean, just born and, you know, me, me I say, you know, I don't have to have seven kids now, you know? Yeah. But, you man, know, man get put out in a two-week time. Yeah, bro. You yeah, have to be able to go in five days, four days, a foreign. So, I serve long. You know, it's a lot. Yeah, yeah. I serve long, my G. You see me? So, I say, but, 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 but it made me a man, bro. You see me? Come here, get a success part. I hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get me a moment for the just the information, dog. Yeah, bro. No man, I see you sting this, you know. Mm. <laughs> 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 I let me get the visa, and bro. Part, you know? <laughs> no man. Yeah, man. So, 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 so yes. Yeah, so, like how you get out of the sandstorm situation? Yes. Yeah, so, the intoxicated guy stop. And um. Um, I'm t- uh, and you know, assist me and call it and call the police. <laughs> you see me? Call the ambulance rather me. Once you call the ambulance in a certain situation, police automatically fall you. Mm. Cause I don't know, blood you know, and see and I wanna get the same story now. Mm. Oh, ironic it is. But this is the bombs and pop up. I the police fall, the ambulance fall, the police fall. And mm. went into the ambulance. The guy outside, I changed the tire, same time. Mm. I mean, even the police and realize I'm intoxicated, but you know, in my head, but I could see a good car. You might do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can leave him. But when, when I went up, bro, and, and they asked me my ID, you know, so one of the police were followed up on the scene, they trained with him. Innocent kids. Innocent kids, up a, up a, up a, up a, what you call it, the, the, the Mima. Mima. Mm-hmm. You see me? Doing doing pepper spray and, and button train and thing. Mm. And I said, Jano, the train, you know? And it, it just, it just, that's Jano star, you know? 
אני אומר לעשות יורי, בואו מה היינו שם הפוליסה כן ידע, אמרתי אתם בני אדם פי אפס, אמרתי אתם בני אדם פי אפס בג'י, אני אומר לעשות יורי, אמרתי אתם בני אדם פי אפס בג'י, אני אומר לעשות יורי, אמרתי אני לא רוצה, 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 You know, I'm going to do it for hours and fix it, you know, get on and see that I get a couple of stitches and, mm-hmm. you know, fast forward from there. When I call the place the next day and say, you know, I got injured last night in a snowstorm, the one thing, you know, I'm telling me, um, you know, speedy recovery, but we can't wait on you to come back to work. Mm-hmm. So we have to get somebody else. I'm going to get a paper, you know, so it's like, that, like, okay, I can't work as union or whatever, you know, who is me? You see me? My team say, oh, life goes on. So them big places are on. You see me? And I'm more, the place, life yeah, goes on. Bro, so goes on. so in, in other words, bro, no one obligated to you. Mm-hmm. You, you know, me, 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 read a, you, me read a book, a 50 cent book. What the dog at a, me read us a book. I've seen the whole heap of interviews and things. We have a talk about people who sip from the well of entitlement. Yeah. See, ent- entitlement thing there. A whole heap of people mm. living with that. Yeah. Where for you to elevate, you have to let go of entitlement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody obligated to you. No, I can't. I'm going to learn that the real way. Mm-hmm. Can't. In the Caribbean, we're nurtured, you know? I can't. I'm going to learn that the real way, bro. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like in a winter one now, more if you wash your laundry. Bro, remember the second day if you want to wash your laundry, you have to have a noonies and your toonies in there, bro. Mm-hmm. If you don't have that, nobody's no business with you, you know? I don't like you can't go hang up. I don't like hang you can't go hang up and wash and uh, hang up, you know, bro. You have to have, you know? So, so no one is able to, um, entitled to you, bro, or obligated to you, in, in other words. Mm-hmm. So, seeing all these things to say, bro, I saw, I saw from now, I was there and, we start meditating, bro. I'm like, you know, I have to take up my music thing. I'm really serious now. So you always had the dream to do something in music. Yeah, I always do music, man. So why not an artist? No, that's not my thing. Yeah. Being a leader from, 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 from youthful youth days, we decided to, you know, I'm more of a manager and produce and them thing there. Mm-hmm. And the first artist who gave me the real strength was Queen Africa. So all you meet Queen Africa? Or you get to Queen Africa. I met Queen Africa because my uncle named Dennis Wax, that had several father. Oh, so you actually connected to the music from St. Mm-hmm. Catherine. Mm-hmm. You see me? So we was at Turkey River Park, a, 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 a ninja man, birthday bash. Mm-hmm. That's where I met Queen Africa, you know. They're back in the days of Jamaica. Black in the days, you see me? Mm-hmm. What if he boxed it, you see me? Mm-hmm. Well, black in the days, where? Mm-hmm. We, 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 you know, we did not Jamaica and do the thing. So that's when I met Queen Africa. And from there, so the connection really pure, bro. Mm-hmm. And that's a big up Queen Africa, same speed, you see me? Mm-hmm. And she, you know, give me a whole bad connection and the thing, see me? And, you know, I fear her name, give me the kind of a boat, you see me? Mm-hmm. So that's when the thing start, you see me? And then we start, we start the little thing with, 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 with the youth named Tippy. And I'm coming with the Tippy protocol, you know, big up car, gratitude. I have to give the same way, you see me? Where the journey starts from. So this is when we start the music where we say, you know, we all do producing and we all do marketing and so we start marketing. So yeah, before you come and send kids. Yeah, before we come and send kids. So we are kind of reach mm-hmm. a little bit. Before we come and send kids, then we start marketing. Rebel salute. Because mm-hmm. you know, Queen Africa and Tony Rebel at the time where a rebel salute had them thing. So we start marketing. The first thing we start marketing was rebel salute. Mm-hmm. Put our fly all over half a tree and all over the country and things, you see me? Mm. So the thing start and then start work with the queen and you know start the road work. It's not to this day, me a queen Africa road manager. Mm. You see me? So this is the whole thing start, bro. And you know, if if you are from Canada, that will come at the same kids. Mm. It on police, but still lot of local music where we could have eat a little dog plate or mm-hmm. we could do a little booking here on the side of the here and police there. and yeah. here and there, you see me? But when we fall, when we go to Canada, you know, the whole thing, you know, happened with the, the factory work and all that. So I said, bro, we're done with 95, you know. Mm. We're not business, you know. We're done with 95. No matter yeah, because what we, we are going to do from there. We're done with 95. And that's why I'm saying, yeah, but mm. music and then 
We say, what do you go call it for? And then that's where I started the landscaping company. Right away, I started the landscaping company about part dollars. And the things that work and that's a very rare, 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 Musical standpoint. So, how you, 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 you transition from, how did you transition from being, mm -hmm. from living in the car? How yeah. did you transition from living in the car? You transition from living in the car, you know, when I got injured, um, I, I met somebody who went to a church, a specific mm. church. So, it, she told me that, Yo, you know, say, there's an in the, in the week church, you can forward and, you know, meet people, or meet people. She introduced me to, to a, a, a church sister of hers that had a one room at the time in Mississauga, big mm. of Andrea. You see me? Just take you in as a friend. Take me in as a friend and, you know what I mean? Introduced me to the time with a baby father and them things because she, she, was, she was a young baby at the time. Mm. And, you know, and she had me as a brother and that's when we, 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 we skip out the, the car business, you see me? Mm. And we didn't know, bro. And I do my thing, I'm saying, I'm done with 95, you know. Start a landscaping company with 40 Canadian dollars. Mm. You know I mean? To this day, the landscape, landscaping company, mother, son, love you, mommy. Mm. So I start a landscaping company, bro, 40 Canadian dollars, and that's how I grew. Mm. I said, yo, I landscape and music, I love the music so much. Mm. Then popcorn forward, I can't even know. Cause when popcorn, me meet popcorn, I think it's you know. Mm. Music fest. Music fest, you know. I saw me meet popcorn, you know. See up upstairs, you say, you know. You see me? And when popcorn fall, we link up and you know what I mean? We had the connection, we had the right. And we build the relationship when you fall the kind of stuff comes. So what were you doing in music in Canada to actually involve Popcorn at that point? No, I always do black grown work with artists, you know. Mm. You see me? Because being in the industry for a long while, I do, do you know, being an encourager artist. I always encourage the artists and I do the local thing then I, you know, they make you put them in the star, come here, look one and link in the star, they make mm. you know, do whatever. We can do me do that, you see me? So oh popcorn found them for the Canada. To Drake, O O V O Fest. Mm -hmm. I saw come a pop car made me meet Drake. A pop car made me meet um Lil Lil Wayne. A pop car made me meet Birdman. A pop car made me meet um Nicki Minaj. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm gonna tell us, you know, you see, when you see an artist with ten man or fifteen man back of them, it depends on what they want to do. A pop car made me meet Bird Burner Boy. Mm. And when me 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 the round them, I'm there a Drake big man chan. Remember go O V O Fest, you know. And I say, hey, then my life, I have lived in that music. And then we say, hey, I say, not the popcorn, I say, not there in the protocol. We have got, we have got a Drake house, got, 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 got the after party, and we got the after party, and we got socialized, and them time, I met them, and I'm not in a perspective. Yeah. But despite you not know, we have looked big when you're there on the general, because I'm like, popcorn, I'm around, I'm around, you know, I'm just like, so I'm popcorn, I'm like a millionaire, you know. Mm. Because you have looked the part. Yeah, because, and sometimes, People see them big entourage there and them feel like I'm just someone who want to be there. Mm -hmm. But you were there with your ambitions. Yeah, intention and ambition. Can't go and a network. Me a network to it. I get burned up by a link. Yeah. Or it me get burned up by a link. And could even could, could uh, and could even recommend them recommend them to the festival. To thank you the festival. When you reach us here to know. Okay. So I'm gonna jump, but I meet several artists and my network, so I have a big old popcorn, bro. You see me? Mm. Big old popcorn top. A popcorn really give me the strength there. And, 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 and even, though, even though you need to give me a dollar, even though you need to do nothing for me, what he did for me was enough. He mm. brought me into the environment. Mm. And you would be surprised the amount of niggas when you bring in the environment bro, there. Bro, and them not do nothing. The most artists of Jamaica, bro. No boy, you need to tell me nothing. Popcorn, I want to ask you fly the most artists of Jamaica. No boy, you need to tell me nothing. What do you think popcorn, bro? Popcorn brings structure to the music, you know. Popcorn, the first artist, say, yo, no promoter can't fly, man, it's a private jet, you know. In, what do you think if popcorn could have fly every week? Promoter call him every week, every day. But it's a man where he, he believes in him craft and him deal with 
him deal with the core principle and him believe in himself and him, you know, him work for hard. No boy, work hard in the music like popcorn. So about, what about the, the idea or the popular, maybe it's a misconception, but there's a popular thought mm -hmm. out there that he has a big ego and don't want to see anybody bigger than him. Yo, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. The man who owns Facebook now want to see the man who owns Google better than him. When the stock market rising in the morning, you see me I said to you, you want a man to, 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 to trade better than you? If you had to trade him. That's no, smart. Nothing no, no wrong with the man being what say all oh, no, nobody man the greatest thing. You know, you know why I'm asking that question there. I wanted to hear what you have to say. Because we have this little fool, fool, ignorant, stupid thinking in the Caribbean for say, oh, a man hype. Bro. Or a man, a man Bro. too much. Or a man, a man, a man, a man wants to be the man. Who no want to be the man? Perspective media is the biggest media that I think it's. Who, who you like that chuck off? Bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, bro, bro. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, have to believe your thing. You have to, you have to believe in your thing. Always have to believe in it. So if you get up on the perspective media, the biggest media platform or podcast and I think it's... I mean, who? I who mean, supposed to vex? That's not a question. But who's supposed to vex? That's not a question. Bro, that's you believe in your artwork, bro. That's you believe in yourself. You believe in your brand. Belief, belief is a doubt, you know. That's just a fact. You see me? So that's what I said to you, say, popcorn. Create history over and over and over in the music. Mm. I remember mean, every artist is good. Mm. You see me? So, I don't like the popcorn PM for come to the platform, but I have to give me the strength because he give me the strength and he don't even know, so he give me the strength. Mm. Indirectly, that's why a lot of men who say I walk on artists, they must make use of the opportunity. Because, because that, that in itself is an opportunity. That in itself is an opportunity. When the man can't run, bro, the boy, bird, man, nicky me not drink. You think me can't let this, bro? Bro, you think me can't let this, so I get a link? Every man, they run popcorn, you know me, though? I walk, I start walk around the place, you know? I, I drink off me, you know? Remember, I drink off me, you know, big like all I think kids, you know, brother? Yeah. Brian, I'll park it, how you want to name, you know? Yeah. Big and all I think, almost all I think is, bro, I'm doing in a basement that with their party. When me I do back a popcorn. <laughs> You're busy with popcorn. Eh? Popcorn, don't jam in that place. Or it's like, it's not a popcorn in that place, but it's a part of the protocol. Where do we have to do it? I'm a J. Yeah. Bro, I'm a day at network. So I'm going take a picture with bro. And I'm going to give me that little baby, that little, little Wayne. Mm. Network. I'm going to build my thing. I don't want nothing more from popcorn. Someone want give me the link, and bro. Someone so give me the important environment that me no to look at myself as me. You know, Drake calls me there, you know. I'm big, big, I'm, I'm, I'm a big superstar there. I'm be a superstar there, you know. So yeah. you know me how do? They have network and get work. Right. And you miss some man, miss some man did their own puppy and hear how much money the man I make. And he come out of them mouth. Quada. Like all quadra, I see quadra their own puppy and yeah. puppy bust quadra in a dog mm. and quadra arise, you know. And because of some little petty thing, man, a pre like yo, you uh, get you get X amount for your show. Artist, no. And but but you bad, see, bad artist, no. all right, it's a thing, it's a thing where a bad artist is one thing, but when we observe with the music, it takes way more than a bad artist for, to you actually know. do it, you know. Quadra, a good artist, and big up to quadra. Mm. And I, 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 I am not getting involved with what him and Popcorn have. Mm -hmm. I had, you know what I mean? Me no know. You mm -hmm. know, me just a big up Popcorn for what him do for me. Yeah. And Popcorn say a pro, because we had a ah, private car, Toronto. I'm in a city and I'm in an environment and I make use of it. So a lot of artists, remember Popcorn fly out the most art, most youth of Jamaica, you know? Mm -hmm. So what I say is this. One of the ads will fly out the most, because you know ads have ego, we don't want to hurt, you see me? But big up popcorn, I may say, whatever happened with him and Quadda, I don't know, and I don't really want to get involved. But may I say, this is sometimes you can't expect a man to do everything for you. Mm. You see me? I know me not nobody from far the good with popcorn, the boy, you know. I'm popcorn, do a whole for good boy, your brother. Mm. I'm do good for me. I'm only come speak. Me the, me the, oh, in a drip house, bro. With, with popcorn, you can easily tell any selector, say, yo, don't play that. 
I mean, a quarter dog plate a blast. And I bro, I sip popcorn, I sip in liquor. Only vibes is something here, people are talking to the media, bro. Mm. Me never see the man when the quarter song a play, the man quarter no, quarter man, quarter there in the camp at the time. I mean, never hear him say, yo, don't play the song they are Ray, Ray, Ray. Yeah. But, but you I see, never, I never hear I, that, bro. Me the only man, I never hear that. Uh, you see, I never hear the media, say that, bro. The media, bro. The media is a thing where, like, their narratives will pay the bills. So, mm. so a man, a man saying popcorn corrupt, pay the bills, get view, viewership. Yeah. Isn't me? So moving on from that now. Mm -hmm. So you you basically start up, start up back with the pro, with in getting back into music in Toronto, in Canada, living mm -hmm. in Canada, and oh how, how did you get get to the point now where you can say all right, music full time. All right. Or is it music full time? Yeah, music and music and still a company because we still have, you know. You yeah, still have the landscaping. Yeah, company. but we have, we have, you know, right now we are trying to transcend. We have the staff, we are doing the thing, but our music right now, we have a full schedule right now for the entire year. Mm. You know what I mean? So we started with booking agency and we started managing. Right now we are managing an artist named Muggs, mm. signed to my thing. Mm. You know, I run with him till I'm tired. Yeah. And I him a come boss boy. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, you know, working with Byron Messiah right now. Um, mm -hmm. Start to work with Byron Messiah about a month and a half from uh, ago. Big up management, big up Kels. In in term, in, in, mm -hmm. in what capacity are you working with Byron Messiah? Yeah, I mean, I'm working close with the management team. Part of the management team in terms of, you know, making sure say, everything, you know, good because everything is a team. So I'm say big up Kels. Because mm. Kells never be selfish, you see me I say? Mm. Kells, which is the main manager, never be selfish on my fault, you know, say, oh, we are, we are do the thing away, you know, him, anything if that is in betterment for Bayern Messiah, mm. him, he, he, you know, he's open to it, you know what mm. I mean? And we start working Bayern Messiah a month, a month and a half ago, and we have over 18 shows. So, previous to, to before you were working with him, Mm -hmm. So you're working with him as a booking agent, like you you control the booking side of things. Yeah, we are we are we are the bookings, and not only that, we are do everything in terms of you know because Bayer Messiah is such a youth of love, mm -hmm. the youth of love, and you know people people people. If you don't know Bayer Messiah, you may take you may take a different perspective of it of him, mm -hmm. but he's a loving youth. But it's I feel like him have a bad, him have a bad image as it relates to Jamaican. Jamaicans have a bad image of him. Like him have a PR PR issue based ah. on from the from from interviews you would have done mm -hmm. coming up to this point. I, this, this is what me I try to say. Like a buyer messiah like opinion. Mm. Every man have them opinion, bro. If you come and say, you know, so this is what me feel. And this is how I feel today, and this is how I feel tomorrow. That's his opinion. Mm. He's entitled to his opinion. Mm. You get me? I come from every man entitled to their opinion, bro. You see me? So me can't come and say, Ray, 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 Ray. That's Byron Messiah's opinion. Is that, and, he, and the last time I checked Byron Messiah, part 18. Mm. But I'm one of the most loving youth in the music. Yeah, but if you have your opinion, people will formulate their opinion of your opinion. Uh -huh. I feel like with certain things that were said on the rise, like the whole, um, I'm not a dancer, artist, and I'm a rapper, mm -hmm. Taliban's is Afrobeat, um, mm -hmm. one minute must say Taliban's are the biggest song, and these things kind of rub, yo, rub yo. the public wrong. Bro, you see what I'm bro, bro, again, you can't stop the youth from say or oh, him feel. And Taliban is one of the biggest song. Bro, April, um, not April. Uh, wait, wait. Next month, we go in Greece. Hmm. We go in Toulouse. May, May the twenty fourth, we go in Greece. May the twenty fifth, we go in Toulouse. Um, wait, wait, no. May the twenty fourth, we go in Paris. Hmm. May the twenty fourth, we go in Toulouse. May the twenty sixth, we go in Greece. Hmm. You know what I mean? Bayern must have a world tour right now. You see me? Like in October, he he's performing one of the biggest festival in Australia. October mm. the 4th to the 6th. And the only three artists from the Caribbean is on that show is Sensia, Beadman, and him. And mm. if somebody missing out, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? So what I'm saying to you is that Taliban is one of the biggest songs. 
Buy a Messiah streaming numbers on Spotify is like 2.4 or 2.3 million views per month. Monthly million streams per month. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If he's confident enough to say, yo, listen, I think I have one of the biggest songs in, in, in music for the longest while, that's his opinion. If somebody have, 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 have a different opinion or different, or, or, or different statistics to say, oh, Byron, this song is not really the biggest song. You know, this is the biggest song. It's different, but you can't stop him from being confident in I'm, in a, in, in I'm work. I'm going to and vice it. No, I don't, I don't have issue with that, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't have no issue with, with, mm -hmm. with him, you know. I kind of, I understand. You see, when I, any, anybody or with anything you do, yeah. you should be confident as a person. Mm -hmm. But then you have to understand that people will take things out. They take it. All right, so, so, so Taliban is not the big, a big song? Taliban are the biggest song out of dance hall for 2023. That's my opinion. In terms of numbers and success, I want the biggest song for the one longest of, while. Are the biggest song for 2023. And Just now they know we're close to it. Forget about 2023. I want the biggest song for the longest while. One off. Uh, English regard now, you know, one mm. off. So let me just speak. You know what I mean? Me, me, me we say. Brother, I buy a message, I say, yes, sir. I buy a message, I say, yes, sir. Who want Vex just dead? I buy a message, I say, right now. And, bro, I was on the plane coming to St. Kitts, and ironically, most of the people on the flight was coming to St. Kitts because they were introduced to St. Kitts by Byron Messiah. So I want people to know this, bro, that the youth, the youth is doing a lot for tourism and so forth in St. Kitts. He's representing St. Kitts everywhere we go. And, you know, the youth, by a message, call me. One more, um, about a couple nights ago. Mm. But, 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 but after five, the man, I said, bro, what can we do for St. Kitts? Bro, we're going on tour because we are going to Europe next month and we are going um, Canada for one month mm. in June. You see me? He said, What can we do on the tour that will represent Brand Saint Kitts? So, all the people that thought, bro, the youth always have loved the Saint Kitts. Men, I'm calling, I'm calling call the early man and I say, Oh, what can we do for Brand Saint Kitts? Mm. Oh, can we help Saint Kitts? So, all I'm saying, give the youth a chance. He will make mistakes. He's a youth, a, a, 20, youth. a 23 year old, you know. He will make mistakes, bro. I think people don't understand that he's a 23 year old. You know what I mean? But because he's both so big and, you know, you, you, you man, just, bro, bro, he will make mistakes. Give him a chance. Mm -hmm. And all I'm saying is that I'm not advocating, but I am saying give him a chance because he's have an art, bro. He's loving. He's a youth where he cares for people. Is a youth where have a art to give back, give my chance. You know, wherever him go wrong, you said Byron Messiah, I think this is not the right way. Mm. Work this way. And I'm say big up every day. Mm. So what about what about like, uh, like the not to not to lament too much mm. on the Byron. Big up Woods vibes, but entertainment. What about what about, what about the split? The alleged split because I cannot confirm mm. the split because I mean, it's not an official from any any parties. Which but split? what about the split from Zeta? Because in bus in bus under Zeta mm -hmm. that that a prince one of them and the media have it to say it is alleged that there has been a split in the camp. Um the last time I spoke to Byron and you know, Byron talking about money, you know. And every time I talk to Byron, Byron talking about how oh, he can make millions of dollars, you know. So, as far as I know, Byron kills the whole camp. They're focusing on making money. Yeah, but money was so, being, so, 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 so money so, wasn't so, being made when, so, so, when Z-Tech was a part no, of the no, team? No, I'm, I'm telling you what I'm aware of. Every time I speak to Byron, it's about making money and making millions. Mm. Every time I speak to Byron, it's about oh, uh, where he's going to buy his next property, where he's going to buy his next land, where he's going to buy his next vehicle. What can he do to make more money? What can he do to develop brand and kids? Those are the conversations I have with Byron Messiah. And I don't care about w what in personal life details and what happens. You know, he's a product and I'm going to protect the product. And I'm going to work assiduously every day to make sure the product grow. 
Mm-hmm. I, I personally not get involved into that. Byron is an adult. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? But whenever I speak to Byron Messiah, he never discuss other people. He has always focused on how he can make more money. And that's why I, that's why I rate him. Mm-hmm. Every time I speak, I on the phone with Byron Messiah. Bro, oh, we can make more money, bro. What can we do, bro? What investment is there, bro? I'm big up Kels. Oh, can we make more money, bro? Me never hear my focus on nobody else. Mm. So, so if that conversation comes up with us, maybe when I'm not there, and that's fine, mm. because I'm caring about, I'm caring about the money, mm. and and see oh, I can develop by and say oh, can I can b- develop brand thing kids? That's what I care about. Mm. I'm develop dance and music and the culture overall. Mm-hmm. So, a conversation of mm-hmm. speaking about Byron Messiah and music. Yeah. Recently, we saw a Shaggy make a statement say the old school dance hall is basically done and mm-hmm. there is a new age of dance hall on the horizon. What's your thoughts on that? Because that seemed to be a controversial topic happening within the dance hall space. First and foremost, big up Shaggy. Mm-hmm. And people like what they like. Mm. You still have an audience who say old school. You still have an audience that say new school. Mm. And the reality about it, that when you look on, on a Rebel Salute, why I think Rebel Salute is still big, as one of the biggest festivals in the Caribbean, mm. is because people overseas and all over the world still embrace the old school. Mm. So, I don't think Shaggy... I feel like people misconstrued what Shaggy was saying, you know. No. I think the point that Shaggy was making is mm. that there is a new era of dance in terms of the youths of today are not singing the old school sound of dance There is a new that <clears throat> remember I know. Mm-hmm. But if something is evolving, it's dead, mm-hmm. isn't it? So basically, if the youth them today now do the new the, the old school dancer, yeah, that means it's dying and it has died. That is a fact. Like in on that point, is a fact, bro. We see the young man drop, drop album recently. Mm-hmm. How much how, how much number is it though? Mm-hmm. Like we 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 we. No, we're, no we're, it's growing. Granny a joke thing, bro. You know, see, no, you know, no, you can't, you can't, you can't, that, you can't that, bro. In terms, but Granny and I use, use numbers. Granny is a loving thing. Like, it, it not come down, how much time we see the Grammys get it wrong? Like, over and over, Grammys has been getting it wrong. So, we, we can't really uh, use uh, Granny uh, to... Uh, uh, which organization, uh, which me, the message get it right? It's a different story. No, tell me. But, no, I but, tell the Grammy, bro, bro, we are grew. And understand that Grammy is one of the biggest, biggest, one of the biggest achievements in music. One of the biggest. And what I'm saying is that Sim Sima, being my album, um, was, was nominated for Grammy. And again, but how did that impact our culture? Oh, we, 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 it all we, impact we, the culture. Where, where? But then we are not. It's no. all, uh, uh, we're not talking about the, the Grammy. Take the Grammy out of the picture. Mm-hmm. We're talking about impacting Jamaican culture. Yeah. In impacting the world because them say there is a crave for the new song, the old song. Yeah. So why when the old school artists mm-hmm. do the so-called new old old school music in this age, it's not resonating with the audience out there. Because being a man of tour is still enough, but being a man of tour based off his old catalog. Mm-hmm. So my point is the fact that the matter is the old school music that is being consumed are the old school music is not necessarily the new ones <clears throat> so even being a man who put out the album that yeah. recently using that as an example that is a that's not doing the numbers where the old school being a man are doing. still it is going to say, so what, what I feel like Shaggy is saying is give the new school you them a chance. Like, all right, him, I feel like him have interest, an interest, like him have a personal interest in that statement. Giving giving props to TJ and Drift because he connected to that. 
me could see where that bias is. But, but I won't say bias. I feel like I we understand bias. what Shaggy has said mm-hmm. based off the fact that, hey, bro, Taliban is a new school, son. Drift is a new school, son. Wap, wap, wap is a new school, son. At Advanced Caribbean, it's fast and very simple. Easy financing for all your needs and fear rates guaranteed. You can even earn cash when you refer a friend. Life is definitely worth living. Let's make life happen. Call us at 466-6677 or 469-6678 or visit our offices today at Church Street Sinkets or Henville Building in Charlestown, Nevis. It, it, it's more complex than just A, B, and C. Mm-hmm. The old school sound that is being that is loved by the wider audience is an old school sound. Mm-hmm. Is it people now consume the new old school sound? How come being in a it? How come them now it? Like how come the man do the numbers where them did that do back then? The man always ago it. But 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 you see to what extent? You see, see sometimes what happen is that we look what is in front of us. Mm. It's just like you're in a traffic and you look at the vehicle that right immediately in front of you, but you have to look at the, the entire the traffic way, 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 way down the road. Mm. Just in case somebody put up on somebody down the road and you know, it can't even come right down to you. Mm-hmm. No, Dean Man is a legend in the game. Mm-hmm. And sometimes every artist have different market so where we are in the diaspora and the Caribbean, we may say, oh, Bean Man is not eating. But Bean Man, may, a song of a Bean Man album may be the number one song in Germany. Maybe the number one song in Portugal. Maybe the number one song in Gambia. You know what I mean? So you have to look at it from that perspective. Mm-hmm. No, I am saying, I'm not saying that what Shaggy is saying, Shaggy is saying is wrong, you know. Mm-hmm. Because Shaggy is a youth with a lot of music and you see him do. In, in conference and them things, they have to try to educate the people. Mm. Now, my thing is this. I think I haven't seen, I've yet to see for the longest while, um, an overseas artist sample a new school song. Mm. They might always go back to the 90s or the 80s. So you can't say it's, an, you know, it's always a balance, bro. So when you look on it, Look on the cool rhythm. We just see somebody sample the cool rhythm like a scatter them rhythm. Mm-hmm. Scatter rich again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You, you know what I'm saying? So scatter rich again. Big big you know what I mean? So with new school, they say them, them, them sample. Mm-hmm. So it's a balance, bro. We have to give the youth them a chance, but at the same time, yes, youth them have to respect the elder of them. So in a, everything is a balance. So mm-hmm. I mean, I say big up the elder of them and big up the new school. Mm-hmm. I that's a my thing there. Me, me understand, me understand both sides of the sides mm. of the fence, you know. But me feel like the elder them never give the youth them a chance. Like just just to them I watch an interview, you mm-hmm. don't know general them on the fix. Big up the fix. I miss me here, me here, me here man at the point was was say yo. Dancehall was like from from the 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 the, the, the origin to now. Mm-hmm. Dancehall has hasn't been original music for a long, 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 long time. I understand what you must say. Mm-hmm. You see, because we have always been taken from different genres. You dig, you dig, you dig what I say? Yeah. Like the original sound of dancehall hasn't been. It 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 hasn't stayed at that sound. Like look on the two thousand. Mm-hmm. Cartel them sound never sound like Bunty them. Is it? Cartel them never sound like Alkaline. Alkaline them never come sound like Cartel. Cartel them. Yeah. them take diff, them take pieces of it. Mm-hmm. Is it? So the music is evolving. So you can't you can't just shun the youth them. You see it last year we get two big songs, two monsters, Taliban's drift. You dig what I Okay, I look pan, look pan, look pan even my boy. Yeah. The most recent sound, like a reggae are the only one when I say keep it sound. Because I say, me say my boy the YG Marley song. Yeah. In the moonlight. Mm-hmm. That the song there. That the song there the next big song. Like mm-hmm. that there 2023 big song out of Jamaica, like the in the Jamaican space. Mm-hmm. And what, what, what 
what kind of song that is? The reggae. Mm-hmm. You dig what I say? So, like, no, it's more complicated than just A and B. The final topic I want to talk about in another interview is in artists and management. And a specific part of the management where, where I feel like kind of being skipped out is a booking agent. How important is a booking agent for artists? <laughs> booking agent is very important, you know, because, you know, being a booking agent, you know, you have to make sure the logistics is right. And you also have to make sure that you source the shows for the artist. Yeah, so what's, what's the exact role of a booking agent? Um, a, the role of a booking agent is one to, to find, find work for the artist and also to make sure that the artist in terms and condition that that each each specific artist requires are being are, are, are being maintained. Mm-hmm. Um, no, the role is always to get the, the, the final thing is always to get work mm-hmm. shows for the artist. Mm-hmm. But getting shows is one. You have to make sure that the logistics is always um, there for the artist. You know, safety, safety, and and, and, and support, security is there. I have to make sure that the artist, you know, fees are are are, are being uh, negotiated at the right at the, at the right level. Mm-hmm. So, booking agency is important. You can't skip it out. Just mm-hmm. as though, despite of all the network maybe going, mm-hmm. you can't skip out. Um, radio it goes under that under that bro because sometimes with an agent, if not every time, so a promoter is gonna call. Artist contact mm. sometimes my agent have a reach out and say, No, I have this artist or whatever, whatever, bro. We, we, we got like 20 shows for Byron in a month, mm. and these were promoters where I always want Byron, we rate Byron. Mm-hmm. But love- what, what put them over the, the over the bump? Like, what got them to book him? It, 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 it's, just, it's just the way we do business. Mm-hmm. So, that's a message that I mess big up every day, big up. Big up, big up roots vibe from over um over Europe, mm-hmm. you know. Um, so what's what's one, what's what's the name? What's the name? What what's the name of your um <clears throat> booking agency? One, one protocol entertainment. Mm-hmm. So it's a booking agency and a management company at the same time. And you're be, you're based where in Canada or Jamaica? We are based in our suitcase. Mm. We are all over the world, you know. We as we every day we are tell them say our style take over. So, mm. so our oh, oh, thing is just. So you you have partnered with Evidy. Yeah, Evidy, I'm I'm in general. Mm. So how did you every get connected to Evidy? Evidy, I want to mentor them in our music. I'm ever rate him, um, you know. And despite everything, I'm as a big up Papa in Europe, same way, big up Tamika, and big up Sharon Williams. Mm. Cause Sharon Williams, if one of the person where we start, me having a booking agency thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we have a big up Sharon Williams, same speed, you see me? She do all that business with Popcorn, mm-hmm. Tanya Stevens and so forth. So big up Sharon Williams and big up my team when I work with them. Mm-hmm. I work with everybody. Big up every booking agency because, you know, we play a vital role in the music thing where artists need to know. So, yo, without we, it's, you know, you yeah, them still can't do them thing, but we really bring the structure. So you feel like booking agents are respected, or them get the the proper credit them deserve? Um, so I don't think we get the proper credit because you know in everything, trust is important. Mm. And um, I think booking agent because we book an artist and they're responsible for that artist, you know, from the moment they sign that contract. Until that artist go to the show and <laughs> left and reach back home, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's not just to collect somebody's deposit, you know. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, so that's where it is. So, booking agency is very important. I think we need to get respect that we deserve. Mm. You know so, I mean? so, earlier you spoke to me about managing an artist, yeah, and you have an artist, Mugs. How did they get connected to Mugs? Mugs is my cousin, you know. You know, we're monks grew together. Mm. You know, um, amongst monks, you know, we are we're blood cousins. Mm. Uh, 
I think I think when me when I notice like reading the comments, come I see I see the, the push behind him more. I see mm -hmm. him get posted and mean dangers. We, we actually love the music, but a popular comment is that him him him, him sound familiar, like him, him him sound similar to Valiant. What would you say to those who have that perspective? Um, Valiant is a good artist. Valiant is a big artist. Mm. You know what I mean? And and for somebody to say you sound like a youth where I do it now, it's a good thing. But at the same time, Muggs is a youth who is a perfectionist. Mm -hmm. So him listen to everybody critique. Mm. So you see him sound like Valiant is good to sound like a Valiant. Mm -hmm. But him get back in the studio, get back in the studio and we're working on the craft and if you notice every song that releasing have a different sound and we're trying to work and find you know the specific sound that the people them love mm. so 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 we take every critique in a positive way and that's mm. one thing i tell him say listen bro it, for you to be successful in this game you have to listen what the people the audience say don't think like it too big to be critique mm -hmm. and that's and that's what it is and most vibes like five song every single day mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's only get better. So big up Valley and big up all the artists and we are doing it. And me are running mugs till me tired. And big know. up J Blunt too. From out of New York, I want to use them with me if I go to my immigration thing. I want to use them artists and could have call and you know what I mean? And and reason with it, you know what I mean? So mm. big up J, big up all artists, because me are every artist good. Yeah man, you don't know in a protocol, bro. It's a pleasure for finally meeting. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, like from, it's a from, pleasure. From just connecting with mm. you over the phone, bro. Yeah. It's a genuine you, dog. It's yeah, bro. Yeah, one. Yeah, you know, one, one thing link them say perspective. Do the right and do the right. I mean, I say, oh, big up Sing Kids, big up Perspective Media, big up all the artists. Them. I'm, I know I could have left the platform. Remember, I know you asked me, I mean, I say it, you know. Mm -hmm. I want to tell them a top five DJ. I'm one Blood of the top five. <laughs> Top five artists, I think kids. You know what I mean? I mean, make yeah, a problem. I want to ask you, sir. Boy, man, you ask them. Me, 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 Why? Mm -hmm. go, go to, go to my brother. Me not ask you. Eh? At this, me use as a clip. Yeah, bro. So my, my top five DJ, you know, sing kids. You know what I mean? It, it, it has to be, like number one. one. Number one. From them time they know. You think you me think you're No, 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 Oh, yeah, I drink this up. Campari. We don't like it. Everybody have him open and you know. Oh, we really are drink. Bro, it, 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 that's, a my, that's a my top five. I, I, you, you, you know why you see, you, you see, I still put a youth night in. You know why I'm bringing terror? Because it, work ethics is up here. I really are drink, man. You can't talk who you want. That's my top five. You see me? And if you go artist, the kid can give me top five. So why are you top five DJ? Well, the artist. Me not, me not, me <laughs> no, you, no, big up every big, big up every DJ, no man. Tell my top five. Send kids. Why send kids dog yeah, dog yeah, chance till you give them the top five there. Give me your top No, me tell me top Give me top five. Me tell you, me tell you, me when I found the send kids, me tell you about people who see make an impact in the music. I make can move top, me can move from yeah, five you know, to six like, or seven. You know, you sound like. You sound like the, the old school dancer artist. Like well, 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 that's it. But 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 me rate flames, me rate me, me, me rate ek, me rate terror, me rate um evolution them. You see me and 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 that's them street vibes them still a, a bad DJ them. You see me? But that about DJ. Got it, got it, got, got it, got it. Um, the. The the, 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 the the artists them. The top five artists. Um, top it. five artists in number G based on statistics are Byron Messiah first out of Sinkit, you know. Byron Messiah can't put Byron Messiah in the Oh, Sinkit. okay. So take Byron Messiah. Yeah. You know, Byron is a my artist. Yeah, so, 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 if you have got artists, um, 
I mark and, and, and highlight. I mark a number one or two. For no, you. no, me not, you know, hard like, with, with the artist, you know, because you know, you know, you mix me up, you know. So, me, I tell about the top five artists. No, but you give me the top five DJ. All right. So, what is the issue if you give me the top five? Send kids down back to there, you know? No, they don't want to stream you up, you know? I love send kids. Why? But me, I tell you, the top five DJ, if we take what Byron message, what I get, because Byron message in a different bracket, me, I put DJ first. Did you have the commercial thing there? I'm big up the joy. I'm big up the joy. I'll go with the album of Forward. I found that done out. Epiphany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It out. Stream it. Yo, send kids and names. Buy a message. Do it already. Let's show some support for the youth here. Do it too. You see me? So, did you remember? Did you remember? Yeah, man. I want to make it clear. I want to take up Byron myself out of here now. No, man. Byron, we done oh, 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 established. Okay. You ever hear me call a top yeah, five and yeah. put Byron in it? We just want to make sure so we take that one. No. Byron. You ever, well, you ever, you ever oh. hear me call a top five artist and put Byron in it? Them things are done with, man. Them okay. So, different did, things. did you um, I mark and I light. You know what I mean? The two of them, you know, I put you know, you know, order with I mark and I like. Mm -hmm. You know, two, two bad artists. That are my three. You mm -hmm. see me? Akai. Bad. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm four. You know, Akai. And, you know, my rate mention. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And when you come to band war, I think it's, you know, really want to get into a big up every band. You know? So you're college and I sugar head? Eh? Yeah? Yeah, college and I sugar. In my time, in my time, <laughs> big up college and big up sugar wine and big up grandmasters. Me, I'm not actually. I'm not saying if you're college and I sugar head. I'm not. Are you call? You go? Are you start? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. But me never ask you. And, and, and for me, when it come to the band, me have to big up all of the band them because. I think all of the band have a specific fan base who love them and rate them and I think all of them can go to the culture. You can say what you want to say. Protocol, I'm not But here go on. You know what I mean? You turn politician for me now. Yeah, yeah. You jump out of the gun with... Jump out for the selector them as a top. As a top. Boom, 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 boom. That was true. I want to reach man and artist. That was true. That's for sure how fear I am. You know what I mean? I personally think that... Thing you did with it. You know what I mean? Right now, college is not going good. So collision are the ban right now. Collision are going good. Me, me, me now, me now a lie. Collision are going good. I come in like, he come in like, because, mm -hmm. because them we, we, we mean cause a job because me have a work. Yeah, collision are going Yeah, be a props. Big up, big up collision. Collision ban are going good, but mm. I want to use the opportunity to say big up all the band, big up all musicians, big up everybody. And I want to say people, big up the music festival, Big up St. Kitts, big up the tourism um, sector, big up the police, big up everybody, big up every agency in St. Kitts. And me see the bashing we are going with the music festival. And I want to tell the people about St. Kitts that as an agent, is to keep a music festival is not an easy task. Mm. But I, music I, festival spoil St. Kitts. St. Kitts Navy spoil. Oh, Bro, which concert in Jamaica or anywhere else in the world mm -hmm. can have on Rick Ross, mm -hmm. Massacre, Alkaline, and Omochin, different, different star mm -hmm. already from first, first wave. And everybody are friends. Send kids spoil. We're not going to that. No, no, no. Send kids leave it. Here go on now. And a hundred dollar people in my charge now. But here go on now. But here go on. Send kids leave it spoil. Here go on. Why me have a big up the festival? No, Think, me Think, tell Think, Think, Think Music, Music Festival is one of the festivals that provide one of the biggest budgets in the Caribbean. Bro. And, and not only that. You know, if you ask me. And not only that, they don't even, they, they don't even charge the people much. And that may tell you, know, bro, so, like. So, 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 sometimes, sometimes you can't just spoil, you know. Sometimes you have to educate the people. Bro, them spoil, no, no, them spoil, bro. No, them, them spoil. Sometimes you have to educate them that keeping a festival is not an easy thing because, and sometimes you say, boy, the festival delay and this and that, but you want to. Bro, music festival delay. But you have to deal with logistics. You have to deal a whole part thing you have to deal with, bro. Bro. Budgeting. Bro. You know, you know, the mafia work with a certain budget. Sometimes the art is not available. Sometimes the art is available. Sometimes it's not available. What I would say, the, the festival needs structuring. The festival can do a little better, but you have to give them time. Sometimes, bro, you know, music fest is fine to me. Nothing is wrong with music fest. I, I think, I think, I, I support the festival. 
I love music festival. Like, me not see nothing wrong with music festival. Mm -hmm. Bro, them people I just need for build. Like, chill. Everybody, they say social media, social media give everybody mm -hmm. a voice and them feel like them know it all. Bro. Nobody now sit back and think and really Bro. look at things. Bro, you get Rick Ross, Massacre, mm -hmm. Alkaline. You stay, who, who else? I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm missing. Family. Family. You get, bro. Third and, world. You get third world. Yeah. And that, that's just a first wave. Won't I, won't I complain um, about um, Just easy back and um, relax and watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, like, ten kids need this point. The uh, promoter um, them, the promoter them are ball, boy. You see, you see, now you're talking about that. The, the, the entertainment industry have to be careful. I must say this. Sometimes we need to move away from the art artist them and focus on the music itself and what really work. Because think it's music, think it's overall is driven by tourism. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when you see the festival is doing something, is 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 really what who can really the pull factor, yeah, pull factor and push factor in music. Mm. Which artists can actually pull an audience from Europe? Which artists can actually pull an artist, um, a pull an audience from North America, South America, mm. and the region? You know what I mean? To think it. And they have to take that into consideration when booking an artist. Mm. So sometimes the locals have to just understand that it's not every time the festival is going to book or a promoter in think is going to book an art artist. Because artists can out of Jamaica, but he can't pull nobody from, he can't persuade nobody from Portugal to come on the festival. Mm. He, can't, he or she can't persuade somebody from Germany to come to the festival. So sometimes, and I'm like in defense to the festival, because I think the festival... Well, me in defense to the festival. No, 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 no what I'm saying. You might be in defense no, to no, the no, festival. No, 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 don't get me wrong enough. I think, I, I think they're doing a good job enough, but there are certain things that still need to be structured. Bro. People, no, 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 people no, need to build. No, no, no. no. Not, bro, I, I know some way I've seen a perspective. Right, watch it, watch it. And watch I support it. you. What, I, what I'm saying Wait. to you, what I'm, what I'm saying to you, and I want to get me, get me right, because I don't want to be misunderstood, right? I'm in support of thank you and need this. And anything that is going to better think it's a Navis, I'm a part of it. Mm -hmm. No, think it's music festival, one of the biggest festivals in the Caribbean. One of the only thing I would say to them, and I hope they listen to what I'm saying, is that they need to do things more on time. Because, because, watch out, I'm getting called at my office for a festival in Europe for 2025. Mm -hmm. I understand that it's different here. You ever do ever the business with government here? And you see how things work here? I do business with government here and I understand. But listen, it's no excuse when dealing with the populace overall. Yeah, you, but you know, you know, there's no excuse. Well, yes. Whether it's government well, yes. or not, it's no excuse, bro. Well, yes. What I'm saying is. Is that... Music Fest next week? Hmm? Is Music Fest next week? No, no, no. It's bro. still it's still a no. month and a half. No, away. no, 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 no. Perspective. No, 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 no. Like two when months away. Right is right and wrong is wrong. When a festival now is calling my office in Germany, for Germany, for 2025. That's the stage, bro, because at the same time, the festival, bro, do you know that? Without an artist, Thank You Smooth Festival can be promoted because they have the credibility already. Thank You Smooth Festival is one of the biggest festivals in the Caribbean, bro. Exactly, so people need to ease so, themselves. So, no, 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 what I'm saying, what I'm saying, you see, sometimes the people need to ease themselves is one, you know, and I agree with that. Mm. But at the same time, if the expectation the standard the festival has set over the past years, you can't expect the people to ease up now. Because they are, they, are they, they, are, they are accustomed like, to a certain standard. And, and, the, sure. and the festival has been producing a, a, a good standard. So no. give them credit on that. Oh, that so they're whenever sure. they're wrong, whenever yeah. they're wrong, you have to say, oh, listen, festival, listen. Because, listen, we're a team. We're not against the festival. Because the festival... Is very important to the economy in St. Kitts. Mm -hmm. So we're saying that, listen, we're not bashing you. Next year, mm -hmm. get back to the drawing board, mm -hmm. put ego aside, mm -hmm. and start a little earlier mm -hmm. so that the diaspora and persons in Europe and who, persons who are interested in St. Kitts and Neves all over the world can say, you know what? 
think it's a name for my bucket list. Sometimes it's hard, you know, bro. And may I say this? No, because from a booking agency standpoint, it's hard at times because it's not like the festival is not trying. But sometimes it's very hard, bro. You know what I mean? So may I, you know, may I speak for the people, may I speak for the festival, may I speak for the people, may I, you know? So may I keep a balance. So sometimes people will say, oh, the festival is taking too long to release, but they tr they're working every single day. You know what I mean? So big up the festival. You know what I'm saying? Big up the festival. And the people them need to easy, and, 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 bro. And, and big, up the, big up the people. No, 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 no. You can't have people you, you can't even pay their money. They're not pay, going in for free. Bro, they're not pay on. No, no, no. They're no, no, no. ticket what, 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 it's a dollar. Most of them people no, are no, making no, nice. No, 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 ticket. Perspective. Though. Even if it's a dollar, they're paying their money. No, for so them people, they're not paying no money. No, 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 we have to come. We have to come to a get. They might get free ticket. And even if you pay $100, for go see, bro, you pay $100, for go see Burner Boy, TJ, Valiant, um, Missy Elliott. You see, bro, mm -hmm. every artist who bust out of Jamaica for the past 20 years mm -hmm. has passed through, through St. Kitts Music Festival. No, 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 no. And, 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 and while we're on this topic, this is what I'm gonna, I want to say. You see, St. Kitts have a lot of talent. And me, you could sit down and we don't talk long, you know. Mm. St. Kitts have a lot of talent, and we need, to book, we need to put in place a regional integration system. Whereas in almost every soccer has a bus from Trinidad that comes to St. Kitts, you know. St. Mm. Kitts book almost every Jamaican artist already, you know. No, 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 no. Jamaica has some of the biggest festivals in the Caribbean. Trinidad has some of the biggest festivals in the Caribbean. Many of you did you on it, many of you say I like, many of you say I mark, many of you say, you know what I mean, Akai see, many of you say Mencha, many of you say Sugar Bunny. Well, okay, no, 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 and these festival in the Caribbean too. Not it's only fear, bro. It's no, only fear. Well, I know. It's only fear. And this is why I'm lobbying for it. It's only fear. I agree with that, you know. But there's still another, playing devil's advocate, there's still another side to the kind where, all right, it's fine. We're well, lobbying for the same kids need this crowd to, the same kids need this artist mm -hmm. to get that chance. Mm -hmm. But when same kids music festival, I look to Trinidad, as like the newest youth, Tasia, Michael Tasia, mm -hmm. the Danish song was just boss. Mm -hmm. Them now go for the youth, them where now make an impact regionally or globally. You know? mm -hmm. Them go for people actually I do it and I show up in a them people a algorithm mm -hmm. where them know say these people are pulling a certain crowd. Cause I was once on the side where may I, may I say, oh, why this man not get a chance? Why this man not get a chance? Yeah. But then you grow on this man and you realize how complacent this, this man is with his current situation. Mm -hmm. Like you realize say, no for them man are satisfied with running St. Kitts Nevis, so mm -hmm. to speak. No for them man are happy with the small community um, spotlight with them get. Mm -hmm. You see Byron blow up. Byron blow up last year. Mm -hmm. Byron bus last year. And how much music come out of St. Kitts. So we have to be, we have to be um, honest with, with ourselves yeah. when we are think about, when we are going to talk about this whole thing. It's not just give you opportunity because we want to. It's give you an, it's give it, it's it's a business at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. The money are on business. I mean, business to make money. Mm -hmm. Is it? So at the end of the day, that it's like it's just time and people have to put in the work. As I say, I say, Akai is sweet. Akai, the majority of the small island, mm -hmm. the small island carnival, them. The man yeah. that make the rounds. Uh, uh, and DJ Terror too. DJ Terror is one of the... Terror. Terror is one of the... Like Terror is, Terror is, is one of the most book DJ. Do, do you know that... You see, sometimes... I want to tell you, it, 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 no, you know, you grow terror, you know, because... I tell you, bro, I'm watching interview with Terror the other day. He worked so hard. Bro. Bro, bro, sometimes... Bro. They, you, they, sometimes you look at them schedule. Sometimes you look at them schedule. In book. From Thursday goes to Sunday and they must travel three different places. You don't even know what is, that, that is like, bro. Bro, you don't have to tell me. But, but, and you see, that's why that, that how it come down to. You think, say, third and turn ambassador because, because they wanted to put him there. 
the man create opportunity, an opportunity for himself mm-hmm. man put himself in in these positions mm-hmm. where I look for too much handouts bro you work for it you work for yeah, it yeah for I, work I, I, for I, your I'm, thing I'm, bro and I'll, I'll tell you bro nobody can grudge terror for him he, he, he work he, I mean, he, so, oh, no, like he, when he, people he have a big move when have people move. when people come to me about this and that with terror me no want to hear no, that. No. Terror. Go work. Terror is that Tomorrow true? needs to go work, bro. Terror like. is a true ambassador for saying it's and leave this. I'm going to say that with my eye open. I'm going to say it with my eye closed. That youth work very hard. And all we have to do is just encourage him to continue. And I'm saying... Man, the I'm the rest say, of man, them just need to put in the work, bro. Yeah. So you point. take a look at the model. Sometimes you have to just look at this model and see what is working and what is not working. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, bro, in wrapping up, mm. all me I say is that think it and leave have a lot of talent. Mm-hmm. And in order to, to protect these talent, you know, the, 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 it starts from the government, come right down to the patients. Mm-hmm. We have to just push it. So, yeah, so did, so did you, after this interview, I would love to see did your album streams go up. Because mm-hmm. you you put in a lot of work, big up Scotch Obama, you know what I mean, day in, day in, night, them work and them do them thing, big up them. And you know what I mean? I hope that their music can help even the youth them in the inner city to say, oh, there's a better way. Because mm-hmm. if DJ Boss tomorrow, that means a three youth from, from North St. Peter's or the Douglas Estate or wherever he live. Mm-hmm. I will fly out, you know what I mean? So so it, it'll do well for the country. Definitely, you know what I mean. So, so we need, bro. And, 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 and I just want to make this point clear, my brother. Did your album out now? Mm. Yo, my employ the government, creative economy. You know, whichever agency is responsible for these things. You know, support him. Put him on a European tour, promotional tour. Send him to on stage. Send him to ER down down at Jamaica. Mm. You know, give him that opportunity to promote himself. Because sometimes he wants to do it, but the resources is limited. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, oh, can we collaborate and brand send kids into a better in in, in a better way? Mm-hmm. So, so these are some of the things. So help them. You know, mm-hmm. help them. Help. You help, know, help. Help. Definitely help, need. You know, help is needed. Help you know what I mean? Need. So let let us see the youth here. You know, I promote him album some more. Give him some opportunity so he can go do a promotional tour in a UK, in a U- in a Europe. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So these are the things I'm saying. But I'm saying. Bro, it's a pleasure. Yeah, man. Pleasure is mine, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, the mm-hmm. conversation. You see, you see, before it's we start, I tell you, say, I don't like to talk too much before mm-hmm. the interview because the conversation does flow naturally. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, that yeah. is the perspective media way, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So, people, we have come to the end of this an amazing episode of the Perspectives podcast featuring my G Protocol boss, yeah, isn't man. it? Yeah, One of the top booking agents within the dance hall and reggae space right now, is it? So until next time, it has been my pleasure. Essential Perspectives Media. Remember for like, share, subscribe. Until next time. Is, is that joy, you know, bro? Proto? Yeah, is that joy. I'm going to say, yo, look out for the Bayern Messiah World Tour, because you know, we but, promote Bayern Messiah. But, and we are promote brand saying kids all the time. All right, I mean? so, so look out for Bayern Messiah World Tour. Look at his Instagram. You know what I mean? And, you know, anything thank it to support. All right. You know what so, I mean? So that is it, people. It. You know what the thing come down. Perspectives yeah, media you know, you know protocols. Yeah, oh. man, that is it. Hey, and I said nobody now believe it. Huh. Well, if they may say I mean I beat it. Me and the pastor, me not go preach it to a we all it down. Yeah, man, it's Dejo, you know what I mean? Giving you a different perspective on Perspectives media. Easy. Perspectives Media.